Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. This is Jay Zan. This is uh, this is this war of mine. This is a gritty survival game. It's uh, it's kind of depressing. It's uh, you're playing the role of a couple survivors in the in a war. It doesn't say what war, just the war. Um, and you're just surviving, basically. It, it's a very it's it's very reminiscent of uh, a zombie survival game. Except it's in a war sense instead of like zombies, you could easily call this a zombie survival. Like, so if you're if you're looking for that kind of game, that's uh, totally for it. Uh, you this has a really good art style, uh, very good narration. Um, the just the feel of this game is is very dark, and I really like the way this is set up. This is by Eleven Bit Studios. I don't know if I said that, but I'm gonna say it again anyway. And all right, so let's let's jump in. There's not this isn't beta. This isn't this isn't even early, in early access or anything. This is just kind of a first look <clears throat> to give you guys a, a a look at the game. And as you can see by the title screen, it's very gritty, very dark. So let's um, let's, let's start this up. Um, last game. So these days, war can break out anytime, anywhere. Uh, you can't skip the uh, the plot. So I mean, there's not much to it anyway. So. If your city gets under siege, you're not prepared for it. Day one. So the game plays uh, in 2D, side-scrolling, platforming type deal. Um, and it's, it goes by days. You do your stuff each day. And you have a couple of people. You start off with three people. And you have your base that you're starting out with. Your base will get ransacked by people. It'll be... Um, it'll be attacked by thieves, it'll be accosted by traitors, um, and you uh, want to clear it up and upgrade your base to make it the most comfortable and survivable as possible. Uh, you like by, by building beds, and, and all right, so these are definitely different people than my last game. All right, Surrounded in the capital by, governed by the government military, the Separatists refuse to surrender. Caught in the middle of the fighting with no running water or phone, struggling with lack of food and, and medications, are civilians. In a civil war, everyone is affected in one way or another. Roman was drafted into the army, but he ran away at first opportunity. Erica came to the capital, fleeing persecutions in her hometown. Marin lost everything in a fire. Homeless and on the run and with nothing to lose but their lives, decide to brand together and survive. The band is together. So, war has driven us from our homes, look away from everything, fleeing the, fleeing the slaughter. We meet by chance, taking shelter in this battered building. Also, if you guys are curious, I did do a, uh, a, a gameplay of this, so you, you can check my uh, my videos if you want to check it out. So, here it is. This is, uh, this is our base. We have a timer up here, which is the day, um, it, it expanding. Uh, you have a temperature meter, which matters. You start off in, this, in the warmth. I'd say in the summer, but it's like only a couple days till so it starts getting cold, and um, and so you have to craft um, stuff to keep yourself warm. Like this uh, simple heater will will heat you heat stuff up. It requires various get scavenged resources like components and wood. Same with bed. All, all these require components, wood, just about these these three, and then this one will require uh, electronic parts. And and there's not a ton of different parts to find. Just regular parts. So it doesn't overwhelm you with like huge quantities of random crap. It's just a couple items which narrows it down, but it, it by no means is easy. Definitely not. Um, so every night your people will sleep on the floor and they have a couple things that affect them. They have tiredness, sickness, f hunger. I haven't seen thirst yet, but you can make water and stuff. So possibly thirst and they can get injured as well. and. You can create food using uh, the stove and using a stove and uh, food that you find, or you can find rations. You can buy rations from uh, wandering traders, and you make weapons and, and all this sort of stuff. Everybody you encounter, well, for the most part, a majority of the people you encounter will try and kill you if they see you. Some of them are neutral, uh, but for them, and some of them actually need help. But for the most part, they're all everyone's out to kill you, so you gotta kind of treat it like that. So again, this is our base. Each each character has different abilities. This guy is a handyman. He, Roman's a good fighter, and Erica sneaks quietly. 
And um, so these are all the actions that you can do, like this here. I'm going to remove this debris and see if there's anything inside of it. So there was some food, lockpick, and some materials. Let's take it all. So now that will go into my stockpile, and we'll go through this too. And while she's over there doing that, I'll have him search through that, and you can pick that lock. Alright, we found some water, some herbs to make herbal medicine. He's going to pick a lock. And he found weapon parts and all this sort of stuff. And that's kind of how the, how the game works. Um, right now, we're just going to go through our house until the day ends. We'll, we'll try and clear up some of this mess. I'll open this door. This is where our, our medicine is. And... I'll have Mar Mar Marin, the handyman, that's locked, so I'm going to have him dig through this. Now, it's going to take forever without a shovel. You can craft shovels. Um, and it's not really a big deal that it takes forever in your house, but if you're like searching through this, at some abandoned house or something that you're searching, and you're trying to be sneaky, this air, this little aura thing here is showing that you're taking making a lot of noise so everybody in the area will see you and know you're there all right so he's going to find some books which I use for burn to burn some more parts and he's still clearing that out so come down here and break this door okay after this I'm gonna I'll show you the crafting I should have enough resources at that point to do some crafting. So you can create a bunch of different things. You can create water filtration and, and chairs and beds and uh, I'll let you do that. Uh, you're almost done. Okay, that's out of the way now. Let's see what was in here. It's probably locked. Nope, it's not locked. Alright, found some trading goods and more weapon parts. All right, so let's let's do some crafting. So after you craft an item, it goes. You can place it anywhere in your house. For instance, let's we're gonna make a bed. Actually, we're gonna make a a stove. It cost me twenty one. I mean, ten components and five wood. And so I'm gonna put it wherever. I want. I'm gonna put it up near near the crafting table. So he'll go put it there, and it takes however long it takes to make the item that you're doing. And while he, while he's down there putting that up, I'll get my other guy multitasking all right let's do that um, I don't I did get a lockpick so I can open this oh I thought it had lockpick I guess I don't go ahead and open that door all right so this is now cooked oh whoops all right so you can upgrade your crafting stations all right so to make food I need one carrot, make a double portion, I need one carrot, one meat, some water, and wood. This one is one portion, it requires meat, water, and wood. So, it's almost a good idea to wait to get carrots to get to double your portion of meat. But, I mean, I don't have it, so. There's a, there's a skill that it gives you good cook, which requires less resources to make it. So, we're going to make two, two fire here, or two wood to make a fire. This will just go into my uh, resources. Let's make one more. It takes 0.3 hours. Alright, so I have the wood now. So now we can make food. Which once made, it will go right here in this X. And if my guys, if anyone was hungry, which they're not, they can come over and grab some food. Alright, so that is now open in case I wanted to I don't know like put build something in there I guess okay so we've just about explored everything that there is to explore in our house at the moment that we can um, that can be uh, bro uh, broken down to get in there so let's see what else I can craft here can I make a bed can alright so we're gonna make a bed I'm going to put it down here. I think it's a good place to put it. Okay, you can go start breaking that down. 
and see if there's any, if I have enough components to make another bed. It's good to have a bed, at least one bed or two beds, because at the end of the night, um, all right, we'll make a filter, a water filter for later. We'll need it later. Um, it's good to make one or two beds, at least at first. Because you're almost always going to have someone out scavenging it at night, but you'll need one person sleeping in a bed and another one guarding. Because you will, there will be people who come and try and mess with you at night and take your stuff. Alright, so it's night time now. So at first, here are our choices. We have scavenge, guard, sleep, and sleep in bed. And then their inventory space. Um, everybody is full health and not really tired or anything like that. So it doesn't matter. There's nobody here, here who really matters to send out. I'll, I'm going to send him out because he's uh, kind of training combat. Now, you can choose different things right now. It tells you what's in the locations. And, uh, and then later on, more places will unlock. And this is where our house is. So these two... Caution advised means there's probably an enemy in there. So we're not going to go in there yet. We're going to do this and get some resources here. We have There's food, there's materials, medicine, and parts. So I'm not bringing anything with me. There's, gonna, there's sometimes locked things and enemies inside and um, things that you need to like, cut open and stuff in missions. And that's when, you'll wanna, that's when you would want to bring stuff with you. This means there's something making noise in there. So with that first pile, I've pretty much... See, I can look through this. Um, see, it's just a rat, so it's not a big deal. And it's locked from the other side, so I'm going to have to go around. Unless I had a crowbar or something. This looks like it might be locked completely. So we'll take what we can take. Um, let's get rid of these two. And... We'll take the uh, electronic component. That's fine. All right, let's see if we can get in here. We might not be able to. Yeah, we can. So you can go in, you can search for specific items. Like I might want to get only food and I can go in here and just try and find some food. Or I can just, if maybe I just need a bunch of wood. So I'll come out and grab some wood. Stack that up. I should have enough space for that. All right, so we're pretty much full. We're just gonna leave. I don't need any anything specific. Medicine would be nice, but nobody's wounded or anything, so it's not really a big deal. Um, after the first day, though, people are gonna start not feeling well. Um, we'll see if uh, anybody gets sick or anything. So that's the end of the first day, and then things happen each day. Um, Maybe my guy will start, some of my people will start getting sick. Maybe someone will get injured. Someone will start getting hungry, really hungry, or, or, uh, or the whatnot. So there's a lot of stuff to consider. Um, the first couple days aren't too bad, but when you start starving, like right now, everybody's hungry and, uh, nobody's sick yet, so that's good. Um, I'm just going to end the day. Um, I'll have someone eat because I have food, but I didn't get food, so it's not going to be, I'm not going to worry about it. I can craft another bed, actually. Let's do that. I don't think I need a guard. Oh, I didn't, I need more wood for a bed. You can, you can craft a radio. Let's make a radio. Let's show you what that is. I don't want it down there. Let's put it right here. A radio will increase your character's morale because they'll get depressed and stuff as well. And like not want to do your tasks and like be very like inefficient with things. I had a. Uh, my last game, I had one guy left and he was sad because like one of his friends died and like I had stolen food from somebody and they start getting depressed depending on your actions and stuff. Alright, so this is a radio. It's tuning at the moment. Let's find, let's find a station. 
and then it tells you what's going on outside right now. You can just listen to some music or and expect a week of warm weather in this game of cold. So you can get ideas on what's happening and get yourself prepared and it'll also increase the morale. Alright, we're gonna end the day. For sakes of this video. Alright, so we did that. Let's visit a caution advised place. Let's go here. And we're just gonna leave it like that. Um no, you can sleep in bed. And you can no, you can sleep in bed because you slept poorly last time. You can sleep and you can scavenge. Alright, not bringing anything. I don't have any weapons or anything, so it's not really necessary. Okay, so this is our new area. There's someone in here. I don't know if they're going to be aggressive or not. We'll find out. Most likely they are. Most people are. This is where being sneaky is a good idea. You can come in, steal their food without them noticing, and leave. Or what other items. This looks like a, a full base. There's like workstations and stuff in this one. Found some stuff, alright. Nobody in there? Alright, we'll go in. Okay, it's locked, so we're gonna have to go in the front door. I could probably climb up that, but maybe not. I'm gonna purposely interact with that guy. What's the oh that's a hiding spot. Let's see if they have something to say. Did I just dodge him? <laughs> That's pretty funny. What's this? Oh, so he's he's alert. He saw me. This isn't a comic guy, but he's telling their allies uh, that someone's in here. They'll either warn me or they'll just immediately attack me. Oh, they're going to attack me. Alright, so we're going to fight. And, yep, so he's uh, probably going to die. Alright, so, I haven't been successful in combat ever in this game. Um, it's very hard. It really tells you, you need to be careful. You need to, if you're not for sure you're going to win, you just need to run. So my fat guy died. It's too bad. Alright, so he died, and now I have two. And now this guy's depressed, he's hungry, he's slightly sick, and he's sad, sick, hungry, and poorly, slept poorly. And he's sad also because the other guy died. And that's kind of how it works, you, you just snowball into, into a pile of shit and you just die uh, if you're not really careful. But yeah, so that's this game. Um, if you want to try this out, I'm going to link the, store, the game store page in the description. Uh, there might not be a store page yet, if that's so, I'm just going to give you the, the website of their, I'm going to give you their website, so, anyway. Thanks guys for watching. This is the this is war of mine. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.